That is all the warnings you're going to be getting in this entire video. Just know that this video has spoilers. If you don't want to get spoiled for Blue Lux Season 2 and the movie, then uh, just know that this video has spoilers. So with that being said, I don't want to be blamed down in the comments. And Kevin, why don't you let me know that there's spoilers? Why'd you do this? No, no, no. Listen, I'm telling you right now that there's spoilers in this video, okay? Just know that. Today's video, Shido Ryusei, aka the Zesty Demon. Okay. <sighs> I am well over pushing the boundaries of becoming a Blue Lock character. If you can't tell already, it's my hair. Now, if you are in a Hispanic household, you definitely know it ain't easy to just get your hair dyed, especially pink. If you know, you know. Hey mom, I dyed my hair pink. Can he says? I dyed my hair pink. I like to believe that my hair doesn't actually look that bad. I mean, hey, you guys let me know in the comments. You know, considering how Shido also has pink hair tips and is also tan, uh, we kind of look alike. Except I'm not zesty and he is six foot and I'm only 5'11". I also don't have blonde hair, so I guess 50-50? Uh, you know, in my opinion, I believe that Shido is one of the best characters in Blue Lock and arguably the best striker. Blue lock. Now, his ego is driven by instinct and his philosophy being that he needs to leave proof of his existence. Example is like an artist trying to leave a creation behind, and it even comes down to the basic needs of what the humans desire reproduction. So, when Shido scores, that's his way of leaving his own proof that he exists. And obviously, it goes a little bit more weirder when he explains it up, which I don't really want to explain because that's just weird. And that's what makes him stand out from the rest of Blue Lock. And that's why he's one of my favorite characters. Now, to keep it all short, he's a zesty demon who's driven by instinct and has a weird philosophy to reproduce. Or just to score. Yeah. Alright, but let's go. Training to become like Shudo will be difficult considering how, as a player, I am the complete opposite of Shido. But that's the fun part of the video. By the way, in order to become like Shido, I need to be able to use his skills. And one of Shido's most notable skills are definitely the bicycle kick and the volley kick, which if you don't know already, are actually pretty difficult to do. And I don't want to just go to the field and actually break my back. Thankfully, I have a trampoline, which I can practice on and go to the field and actually do it and not break my back. Both skill moves are going to be jumping in the air and kicking the ball in the air with the volley being on the side and the bicycle being on the back. Alright, you already know the usual, set up some cones, stretch. I'm gonna start with Shido's volley kick. Also, by the way, since I don't have another person to pass me the ball, I'm just gonna be tossing the ball for myself. Uh, yeah, I, I did my best. Uh, <laughs> this is low-key gonna be hard as heck. I'm nervous, like, I don't know. Before we continue, I just want to let you know that this skill move took me 93 tries to actually hit, which was roughly around 3 hours until I hit it. And let me say, it was brutal. And if you don't believe me, look at this. Each small box that's attached together is a clip that I pulled out of me attempting it. So yeah, it was definitely 93 tries, because I counted it. <laughs> Everybody, everybody. 
After failing over 90 times, losing all hope, after 3 hours, I eventually did this. My goodness, bro. But that was only one part of it. I still have to do the bicycle kick, which is technically a lot harder. And I was still super sore, so I took two days off after doing the volley kick. But here we go. I've only actually done this like two times in an actual game. As you could tell, I'm not very good at doing these bicycle kicks, but that didn't stop me from trying, in which I failed multiple times. I even did one where I threw myself completely, and let me say, that one hurt. But eventually I did get one in, although it's not perfect, I did my best, so here it is. Hey, thanks for watching the entire video. If you stayed all the way to them, thank you. Please leave a like and subscribe because my body has been through a lot. Seriously, I'm, I'm super sore. But besides all that, thank you so much for watching. Take it easy. Take care. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.